Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today I want to talk about the Skybox Creator from Metal. The Skybox Creator is an environment map creator. It's a script and a plugin that allows you to create cube maps, sphere maps, or equirectangular maps, environment maps, and it's all from moving video of your composition. So basically, whatever your composition is, you can turn that into an environment map. Really, really, really cool. I actually tried um, doing this on my own without the plugin, and it's really hard. <laughs> um, you have to mesh, warp, and all sorts of things, and this just makes it so much simpler. So let's start. Let's make an environment map, and then we can also take this export it into a 360 degree video that you can play on YouTube and you'll be able to navigate around. So here is the script and I just launched the script and right here it says create a skybox master or create a skybox output. And what I want to do is a master so let's set that to um, let's just do something small for now but you can make that bigger. If you do it too big then your graphics card might not be able to handle it. Um, so let's yeah let's go for 1024 and this is going to create the composition in which I'm going to be putting whatever I want to be the environment map. So this is going to be my main composition. That's why it says create skybox master. Click on that. And then this is where I'll make something. So I'm going to just hit command Y, E3D. I'm going to add just some cool element 3D something or other to this. So let's go to the scene setup. I'll do what I kind of had done before. I did another uh, 360 video on YouTube, and I made it out of rings. So I'm using Element 3D version 2. Let's just make a thin ring. Increase the segment so it's more smooth. And let's give this a shader. Let's make these uh, gold, gold rings. That's pretty cool. OK. There's the gold ring right there in the center. But what I want to do is I want to come into the group, particle replicator, turn this into a sphere, and let's add some. You can see it starts to look funny because what's going on is if I come into the custom view, you can see how everything is just all jumbled up in the middle. So let's come back into the scene setup and let's move this off to the side. There we go, that looks better. And let's do some quick animations. So in the particle look, let's come into particle rotation and let's keyframe the random rotation. Put a keyframe at the beginning. Put one at the end. And then we're also going to keyframe under deform. Again, this is version two, so there's deform menu. Let's go to bend. and bend this. Okay. Let's go back to our active camera. Looking pretty good. Now let's add a background to this. Go back into the scene setup. And if I click down on environment, so these are environment maps right here. This is what we're going to be making is one of these. Um, but we're going to make it so that we can upload it to YouTube. So I'm going to just grab one of these environment maps, and you can see it creates kind of this background that you can see all around. And then now that I have that applied, let's go down to the render settings in element, physical environment, and show in background. All right, so now that we have this animation done, make sure your comp is selected and then come over to the script, and then this time we're going to generate a Skybox output. Click on that. Okay. And what it does is it immediately creates a cube map, but we can change it to a sphere map or even an equirectangular map. So we can see here the Skybox converter, input, cube map, so that's what we have, output, we want to be, I can change it to a sphere map or equirectangular. And that's what YouTube uses to do the 360 uh, videos on YouTube is that kind of output. 
this is actually the same kind of output that Element 3D uses um, for its environment maps. So if I wanted, I could use this as an environment map on another Element 3D object. So for instance, let's start a new object. So grab a new layer, add element to it. Let's create just a big sphere and make it chrome. There it is in the middle. So if we come to that and let's go into the custom layers, custom texture maps, and grab that skybox as the texture map. And then we go into the environment. And you can see it did the wrong one because it's applying it before this um, before this plugin. So what we need to do is we need to pre-compose this. So Command Shift C and make sure we move all the attributes. And there. Looks just good now. So we've got Let's um, turn off that background. And then let's do the same thing on this render settings and put on the background. And you have now a moving environment map on our Element 3D model. Pretty cool. But that's not what we're here for. Let's go ahead and hide that. I want to export this in such a way where I can bring it onto YouTube as a 360 video. And what you need is another utility called the 360 Video Metadata uh, Program. And there's a link in the description where you can find that. And what it is, is after I export this as an MP4, has to be MP4, uh, because that's what the metadata injector uses, is I need to put some metadata that YouTube can look at this and go, yes, this is a 360 degree video. If I just upload this just like this, then when I get onto YouTube, it'll look just like this and it won't look like a 360 video. So make sure you download that other program. But first, let's go in and export this. And I need to export it to uh, Adobe Media Encoder. Okay, here it is. I'm going to I'm going to just match the source, make sure it's an H.264, and then it says .mp4 at the end. That's what it needs. So I'm going to pick a spot, and I'm going to export this, and then I'll show you the, the 360, the YouTube uh, metadata program. Okay, so that's all done rendering. And one thing that you need to realize is it's not going to be a normal um, resolution, 1920 by 1080, or even 16 by 9. It's actually outputs in a 2 to one format. So it is twice as wide as it is tall. And that's the shape of the environment map. So make sure that you're not exporting in such a way that it creates black bars on top and bottom. Because then you're going to have little black circles on top and bottom of your YouTube 360 video. So I'm going to open up the 360 video metadata program and all it is is this. It looks like this. Um, see 360 video metadata, um, inject and save, and it's asking me to find the video. So I'm going to find the video I just exported. Click open, and it brings it in here. Click inject and save, and let's give it a name, rings.mp4, and that's it. Now this thing is ready to upload to YouTube. Now make sure you're using Chrome. Chrome is the browser that supports the 360 video. If you're not using Chrome, then it's going to look just like this when you upload it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video as an unlisted video, and you can there's a link to where you can go check out how this video looks as a 360 video on YouTube. Make sure, you're again, you're using Chrome because that is how you do it. Also, lots of links to this, links to um, the Skybox program on Metal links to where you can find the 360 um, metadata injector for YouTube and also links to this video. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below. I'll be doing some more stuff with environment maps. I wanted to show you this because it's really kind of a cool thing and there's really not another plugin out there that can do this. 
to create these 360 videos um, for YouTube. So if you have any questions, any requests as far as what this environment map program can do, just let me know. And if I can't answer them, then I'll get the guys over at Metal to answer them for you. Um, or I can do some testing and things like that. So thank you so much for watching and make sure you go check out the blog, um, check out the product, and uh, check out this video here as well. Um, and we'll see you next time.